All right. So click and close. I'm going to show you something really quick here. It's, oh, got to start the timer. Yeah. There it goes. Okay, timer's going. Click and close. Click and close. So I, I want to I just remind you or kind of just bring one quick thing to your attention. So this will make a noise when it's done. So you will know. Uh, the, all the parent graphs we looked at yesterday, uh, all the parent graphs we looked at yesterday, you, you might have noticed that the special points were always at the origin, right? So for, you know, the vertex of this absolute value graph or the vertex of this parabola, right, this quadratic function, or the starting point of the square root graph. Right, always in the, they're always at the origin. So when we do these translations, and let's just look at an example of a translation. If I start off with like f of x equals x squared, and I'm gonna do g of x equals f of x minus h plus k, right? If I pick values of h and k, like if I let h equal positive three, what's that gonna do? If I'm subtracting three, so I end up with, so I would I would be doing if h equals three, I'm going right by three. See what I'm saying? And if k equals, for example, like negative four, I'm going down by four. So what would this equation be then? That equation would, if I wrote it out. So the red graph would just be g of x equals the quantity x minus 3, right? x minus 3 squared minus 4, okay? Because it's, it's slid the green graph. There's been two, two transformations, two translations. We slid it to the right by 3, and that's h, right? And we slid it down by four, and that's our value of k. Agreed? Okay, couldn't we just think about that, though, as being the coordinates of the vertex, right? So we could think about this. If we write a quadratic equation out, we write it out in this form. If I say something like, for example, q of x equals x minus h squared, plus k, doesn't that just tell me that this is a this is an x squared graph? So the parent graph is quadratic. Everybody agree? And h has a value of what? Well, like in this case right here, h is 3. And k has a value of what? Negative, Negative 4. So that's just telling me that the vertex is going to be located at positive 3, negative 4. In general, I could say that the vertex of any quadratic equation, or any equation, is just always going to be h and k, right? It's going to be the amount of the translations. You get that? And so there's one way we could think about this is not even translating. We could just think about like starting the graph at the point 3, negative 4, and just sketching a parabola from there, right? Okay, does that make sense? So and it doesn't really have to even be an x squared graph. Like we could change this. We could make this, if we wanted to, we could make it like a square root graph or something. If I make it a square root graph, I did the same thing, right? All I did was I just took the starting point, that's our special point, and now its coordinates are 3, negative 4. But it's the same looking graph. Or I could make it, um, you know, I could make it like a, I could make it an inverse graph. And now there's that special point that's the, that's the place I put the tack to spin it around, right? The place where the asymptotes move. Right? Make sense? Okay. Pretty quick. Done. Oh, Not even five minutes. Oh.
All right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah.